a good morning salon we come to you from the society for radio democracy 98.1 fm as you get from one power headline today radio democracy go look how government plan um, for maintain the national cohesion of the country and keep the peace agreement them where they don't sign with the opposition well for sake of that i want for welcome me studio guest them inside the program i want for welcome Yusuf Keke Thomas Sandy, Deputy Minister of Information and Civic Education. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Salon Yusuf Keke Thomas Sandy. Good morning, 98.1. Good morning, listeners. Then we they go work. They want them for them. I hope we listen to we and I'm happy for them with you this morning. And also, I want to welcome Nadi Studio Abdul Fatoma, United Executive Director, Campaign for Human Rights and Development International Charity. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Salon Abdul Fatoma. Good morning, Musa, and thanks for having me. Good morning to the people of Australia. Okay, anytime from now, we expect Honorable Abdul Karim Kamara. We they can represent the opposition as in a, um, APC MP, na the current parliament. But uh, for listeners them and viewers of Free Democracy, remember say um, governments and the opposition recently they don't sign a peace agreement, and uh, before that they don't they get plenty peace dialogue then and negotiation and uh, even the latest the opposition leadership na parliament be engaged with the president yesterday na status for talk about peace and national cohesion. Our governments um hope for maintain the country peace and national cohesion and also the agreement that they don't sign with the opposition and set out the opposition uh plan for work with government for national peace and development make get uh governments the opposition and civil society inside the program but quick i start with yusuf keke thomas sandy deputy minister of information and civic education once again good morning Inside the edition of the program Good Morning Salon, we they talk about peace and national cohesion and government in rule for maintain the agreement the way they don't sign so far. But as the Deputy Minister of Information and Civic Education, how you can describe the current situation of the country in terms of peace and national cohesion? Well, um, I can tell you see we can't be very peaceful. Um, the president you remember say um, towards the end of last year, after the November twenty sixth incident. Obviously, there were many security challenges, but um, we, end the, we ended the year with residents against the country twice, on Christmas Day and also on New Year. You also remember, say, during the message the day with President Lee, the president talked about how we for promote peace, national cohesion, and unity in our country. And in fact, specifically, when the president be the address on the New Year, the president be talk, say, say, we strength only lies in unity. And together with we will build the country way we self as Sarinans they will get pride and we will go left the country way na a legacy for generations set on board. And throughout that one day, President Nong continue for leave to that message of peace, national cohesion and unity. We don't make sure say um, we at the Ministry of Information and Civic Education. We also don't try for introduce a campaign where na campaign way for make we all put salon ahead of which we do we are think very important and president also himself don't try for all several meetings with stakeholders then president don't start he get um, meetings very the old with the uh, intelligence council the president also don't meet fireman chiefs and like you also say yesterday also meet the leadership of the apc in parliament where now something back with very important and very good for the country because, like I said to you, at the end of the day, we now one country we get, and politics we don't pass. Now the governance. When president say, let we try for build a country where we all get pride, and a country we will leave as legacy for generations them where they come after we. It means that we all get rule for free. So whether you're a politician, whether you're a religious leader, whether you're a business person, whether you're a civil society organization person. Whether you na NGO, whether you na somebody with the na the um, development um, um, sector, we have a role for play, and I feel say that only we have to play each and every one of we. Now for make sure say at the end of the day we all go build a country. We say we will get love, we will get peace, we will get unity, and focus on development. Because like every five years people go to elections, when election not done, 
governance don't take full steam. And government only important to the people that we able to deliver services to the people there. And I make one for make sure say we continue to focus on land by making sure say we promote peace, we promote unity, and promote national cohesion. I make mention quickly where I talk about we ministry because you know see now we now a new ministry ready for information and civic education. Okay. That ambit day we get for do with civic education and civic engagement. Now for make sure say we put also get initiative for put people in together. So like I make mention we get this we project or we campaign with them called Salon Big Pass We All campaign where they gear towards again the message. Remember say um, in the new year will be released um, a peace song. We call the Nero um, LJ, who all know say that the entertainment sector na people that will not be the CI to I for a very long time. But then together, that na evidence for sure say at every sector, we want for put people together for make they unite. And we are trying to push this campaign together. So now we get for a look at um, how we go engage from community engagements there. We get old shoes them, we they put billboard them all around, we they put album for peace. We get other artists them back, we go participate for them. So in a nutshell, I think say at the ministry level, this initiative and responsibility of President Ongiri, that's something we'll take very seriously for me to make sure say we promote peace and national cohesion, but also even at president level, instead of lead by example for engage stakeholders them for me to make sure say we talk about how we move the country forward for now focus on development we are thinking the most important so thing. in terms of what you just dumb lay out, you state and begin for talk say the country very peaceful. But the piece where you talk about is it for few people or all Sierra Leonean? The reason why we don't see concern on the comment from the opposition for say some of the members them they arrest them and all of that. So this piece is it for everybody or few of certain people? Well, there are two separate issues. Um, one, there is a law and order issue, and also there is an issue of how do we make sure say peace, everybody for enjoy peace. Um, and at the say on the second part, if the peace now for people that we just selected, that go to say no, this is a peace for everybody. Because like Mbona AKK just can I if you come on and have free toy, you go now in constituency, you go, you go work at it peacefully, you go campaign, engaging community people, um, peacefully without any hindrance. And I feel say anybody that move all around this country, you'll be able to express yourself freely, your opinion, you know, because again, like I said to you, we want to make sure say governance for be inclusive, everybody in voice for matter. It means say whether you're a PCO, SLPP, or PMDC, your voice or matter. So, so firstly, the peace stuff for everybody. Okay. Secondly, on the issue of the allegation, the way they make say uh, the main opposition parties. Not to me, make nothing concerned. Yes. Well, to you. Okay. So okay. So now allegation. Um, the allegation the way they make obviously there are a lot of other issues. We know say after November 26, we know it will happen at this country. We we'll get um, a fail coup happen. After that fail coup, the investigation on the carry on. Now charges that don't they also take place because don't prove far against certain people away they are caught as they talk to you now. Now some of them people and they obviously na people away belong to the APC. But it not necessarily means say na APC na in the indict. APC is different as a political party and also the individual and they way at this particular point in time the evidence don't show say now people will get things for answer and charges don't be brought against them we're not for mixed them two things and together so i think say uh, from the government angle we need to arrest any apc member no opposition member we we'll make sure say like we press them we don't say who say ever the evidence be done they now they will they go and if the evidence be can't even point to myself then go okay on. well in name now yusuf keke thomas andy in the deputy minister of information and civic education today inside this edition of the program good morning hello they look at our government plan for maintain a national cohesion at the country and keep the peace agreement where they may don't sign um with your position party apc well we other studio guests just come out the studio in a honorable abdul karim kamara in the um member of parliament under the apc party in the parliament good morning and welcome to the program good morning um, I also happen to be the whip of the opposition party. Okay, okay, thank you, very <laughs> Okay, well, um, we will start for bringing just with the same question also at Yusuf Keke Thomasandi on assessing the country situation in terms of political wise and peace. In line with that, what do you will say? Um, I, I follow my brother through um, a, a introduction, but the first question we most people don't forget. Oh, by the way, I study peace and. So I am so interested when it comes to issues of peace. And one of the things we learn as peace experts is 
we ask ourselves the question, where did we go wrong? By 2018, we are not in this state. By 2018, there was no need for signing of a peace um, agreement. There was no political tension range to the point where um, political parties are being tagged to um, situations where um, we find ourselves today. I think uh, when they listen to him, he, he creates a kind of picture where it looks like everything is rosy with the opposition. But he also need for understand, see, in this same country, don't they? They don't call we Anyampis, they don't call we terrorists, they don't call we copists. And the attack on the opposition is unwarranted for. We don't in this country say we don't see opposition members of parliament without due process have been detained, humiliated, beaten. And we don't in this country at the time, even yesterday, why should they see the president for talk to him on national issues? We also get the information, say we youth leader, um, we publicity secretary deputy and other people, the leaders of the party, have been invited to CID. We don't know this country at the time we just for a press release we they show the position of the party. The Secretary General of the party has been invited. We don't know this country just after 2018. Um, what is supposed to be procedural um, engagement for government vehicles? FIBA, like I say, now war. Chase people in the streets, put them down motoka, go now they host them, harass them. You understand? We don't know this country also we we get a point where um, we read an audit service report, uh, the, the, the transition report, where for the very first time people tribalize corruption, name tribes them, we involve into corruption. We don't in this country just after the elections where we see, the, for, in fact, in the last five years old in the parliament, for they in opposition, it's almost a crime. We don't in this country at a point where we see even people where we think are moral guarantors to be peace. You understand whether in the civil society space, whether in the international front, have been attacked for unwarranted issues. And interestingly, some of these things what they talk about are not done by individuals, they are done by state institutions. So, are we in a peaceful state? Peace does not necessarily mean say now the and now way you did into war, but we also get what we call structural violence. We don't know this country where people read lists of people being sacked, and when you listen to the list, what they call, not just from one region. Those are structural issues. We don't know this country where people away get ten, ten hours of office, but because they belong to certain political parties, have been rooted out of their, their situation. So the, 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 the issue where we look at, basically, is not that physical violence where people will talk about, oh, this, now this, they happen, this, now this, don't happen, now this, they know they give you a chance for rule. And sometimes when you listen to some of the excuses, where they make people, they call the people and terrorists, then they don't even reach the, 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 the all mark for where, where you go say, okay, let's engage with Keketoma. Let's see them. Keketoma, now this, they happen. What's in the happen? And what we do yesterday, now crossing the, 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 over the rivers, for say, okay, this thing has been happening, but how do we put a stop to this? We, we will not gladly. One thing we perhaps um, 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 government need to understand through their structural um, um, violence how they happen, in the last five years, Sierra Leone has not had any one new investment, foreign direct investment we don't, we don't cancel in the last five years. All the things don't come, now either with the, in our parliament, with the, with the, with the add new, with the add agreements them, with the, with the ratify agreement they don't they, and if you don't, don't ratify, some not even start for do operation set. Why? Because I have said this over again, the, 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 the political, the democratic credential of a country is on itself a whole platform. It's a whole a marketing strategy for investors. No investor, no book out in money in a country with <coughs> political intents. Okay. So as, as, let, let me learn, let me learn. As political leaders, one of the things we have for dinner now is call, most of us young people. Now the fact is, we need to understand, say, we don't talk about the future anymore. We are building a nation that seems and that should work for every single union. So if for, for, for instance, go like a parliament, what we, we, we fortunate for see the list of people who didn't sack this in the parliament, I will tell you out of all the list we come on, now only four out of 137 names, now only four are of Easterners. That is structural issues. So we, we, we don't just talk about um, 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 violence from the perspective of saying, oh, there is peace. No. There is, there is sanity, or oh, one or the, the new one or no. If there are structural issues. Now, on, Honorable, we ask a simple question from the APC perspective or standpoint. 
how you can describe the national cohesion and peace at the moment in the country. I, I will say to in you, the short essay, I will say to you, APC on our own hands side have done everything and will continue to do everything for their peace. Let me learn, let me learn, let me learn, let me learn. We've done everything from the, the in fact, we don't bend with hands backwards. We they can't look at the roles played by government and opposition for ensure say peace day, but we they look at the situation as it is. How you can describe them in the shortest term? As a peace expert, I will tell you there is no peace. Okay. I will tell you if there are structural violence, mm -hmm. if there are structural issues, that cannot be peace. If I were to work in Africa now, even when you lock your eye, so your man go jam you. There is no peace okay. based on waiting exactly. Point at things so we go justify what you just Okay. Wait. Let, let me say this. I, I think I, I, I know I'm being too ambiguous, but I'm talking from a specialist perspective also here. Peace, not to the absence of war, no more. Peace gets to do with structural issues. If certain people, they feel deprived, if certain people, they feel marginal, I don't know how you perceive them. But when you get um, a president of a nation where they address the, the opposition and call them terrorists, that, that situation no, no, no rules there anymore. Okay. When you get a situation like country way, even before the investigation, I, one of them days I, I think I tweet or write on my Facebook say, I don't trust the judiciary in handling the issue of um, um, the current um, 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 former president. You understand? When it comes to this issue of coup, many people ask why. Because in a situation where you don't get a president predicting what will happen to the former president even before this issue, and the president either appoint the chief justice and the just the the, 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 the judges them. How do I trust that judiciary? It's it's a kind of pain painful situation okay. for those of us. Continue for stay with me inside the program, Honorable Abdul Karim Kamara in uh, uh, the whip for the All People's Congress APC party na the current parliament. We come with uh, the civil society representative na the studio where na Abdul Fatoma, executive director, campaign for human rights and development international. We don't inside the studio, don't listen to government side of uh, the current situation of the country peace and also the opposition side on the current situation of the country peace. Um, for you as a civil society and human rights expert, I can describe the current situation of the country in terms of peace and national cohesion. How you declare me expert? All right. <laughs> um, the constitution of this country, um, chapter four, um, section, um, yeah, chapter two, section four, um, give a uh, statutory obligatory to the state for ensure say, the citizens and peace, security, and welfare for be a primary, you know, primary, meaning it for be number one. And when you look at Sierra Leone, we relatively get peace, meaning um, you didn't move about and do business, shops and they open, you didn't go buy product. But then again, under the relative peace where we get, we get waiting, we go refer to, to social insecurity that people, you know, feel say because of the region where they belong to, because of the tribe where they belong to, because of the political party where they belong to, or because of the economic status, they are not be treated equally in this country. You go to the judiciary, you go to the law enforcement agencies, you know, um, you go um, now some employment places them either by the state or private sector. People just because of the background, they subject them, you know, to insecurity. So based on that, and either you be a civil society or you be government worker, you be opposition, you constantly get threat or harassment from people who get a different view, hold a different positions about you. If you're in a civil society, you can talk something where it will be interest the opposition. You get dozens of people at the social media, both Sierra Leone and outside of Sierra Leone, constantly go, go, go harass you and harass your family members. If you talk something against government also, you get a constant harassment. If you talk something where you go against the opposition, you also get a constant harassment. So this now social insecurity. We're not good na any country when we want for move go before. Okay. Then, you know, the fact that say as a country, we don't come from a very long way. 
everything about Sierra Leone since independence to war and during we political activities for change government, we don't go on negotiations. We don't dialogue. So elections after elections, we always get dialogue. We always get religious leaders and get involved either with the opposition or the ruling party for ensure that say, you know, the opposition supporters and, and the leaders uh, accept results. It happened in 2007. It happened in 2012. It happened in 2018. It happened in 2023. We still did in the process that say we, as a country, we no one for accept ourselves based on our political differences, based on our regional background. You know, we, when you think about corruption in this country, people tribalize the corruption. When you talk about accountability, people tribalize accountability and regionalize accountability. When you talk about development, people you know, tribalize and regionalize development. So the habit way we don't get now for ensure that say what in the previous administration been do, this other administration can come and do it and more harder. But the unfortunate thing, the one that work in the inside the administrations and they they never feel the pain of the ordinary man. So it will be strange to them when now they go in opposition, they see similar thing they happen. Then they say during real time that not be happen. And the one that will be in the opposition will go through the marginalization, the humiliation. Then they, when they they in the ruling party, then they totally and clearly forget say, you know, this country did not reach a time. It was based on tribe, then the higher people. So how we will come together as a country, for then we put an end, you know, to the bad vibes, to the, you know, to the negative, you know, engagement of we, I mean, within we as a people. Okay. So it, it, it's sad that, say, you know, uh, um, we as a country, majority, not they respect the, the, the laws of this country, and when, because of the weakness of our constitutions and other laws, a lot of state actors in this country, they use that as a yastic for ensure that say the subject citizens of this country, you know, to uh, 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 social insecurity. Okay, continue for the day with Abdul Fatuma my name. In the executive director campaign for human rights and development international as today inside this edition of the program ready democracy they look at our government plan for maintain national cohesion at the country and keep the peace agreement with inside with the opposition party the program good morning salon they continue and we will bring this edition come to you this tuesday morning me and up to you Kalon. and musa kamara and inside the program if you just the join we on uh, on 98.1 also on our facebook page on w or on www.redemocracy.sl in today's edition of the program good morning saloon we they look at a government plan for maintain the national cohesion and the country peace and keep the agreements them when they don't sign with the opposition well inside the studio earlier we get uh you see keke thomas sandy we don't make input and also honorable abdul karim kamara a uh, na the chief whip for the opposition na parliament and also we get Abdul Fatoma, Executive Director, Campaign for Human Rights and Development International Civil Society in the panel. We come to you, Chief Keke Thomas Sandy. You don't get um, from the civil society and also don't get from Honorable Abdul Karim Kamara. We uh, your input or take on peace in the country different from waiting you um, describe as a peaceful country and you get in highlights them. We you don't mention as he, he mentioned terms that like the uh, the way government in alleged say refer to them as a peace terrorist or copist them these are some of the underlying factors them we the trigger the country not for be that peaceful our government hope for maintain the country peace by addressing some of them concerns also with the opposition as key players in the governance theory well um i think there are a few issues with uh, aka is up um firstly i think i'll address one question we ask you see um, waiting go wrong, waiting go wrong. So, I explain to Ekeke waiting go wrong. 
Um, after 2018 elections, um, people in votes, they elect President Bio for govern. Hmm? Five years under President Bio leadership and governance, a set of people in this country, you understand? They incite, they make sure say, then they do everything possible for destabilize the country and undermine the peace. And then they happen. And I will give you um, example of the thing that we are talk about. Remember, say that um, sometime in 2020, we be get um, unfortunate incidents that we happen with the riots. We happen at Makini, at Lonsa, at Tumbo, at Lunge Airport, where people um, lost their life. In not stop day, we also remember say August 10, 2020, we be get violent protests with people. Um, Come, they say, President Bio for go. And before this treason trial, we'll be also member say, we'll be getting events will happen um, sometime in 2023, where people and back attempt for overthrow President Bio in government. And then November 2023, we happen on the 26th. So it means, say, systematically, after the 2018 elections, set of people um, just bent on say President Bio and this country no we'll get peace and you no go enjoy a own time for on. So at the camp. So now that they happen, I don't go wrong. So when my colleague Abdul Ifak, I before say this morning we okay, we'll go talk politics. Because I'm happy for more can talk about how we we'll talk about peace and national cohesion. But then obviously it's unfortunate that um, AKK, the evidence the way he say he give about structural violence, how they harass people in the office, the circle, like he almost look like a born again politician will not be there te 11 years under the APC government. You understand? But what would they say now? The fact say, under this government, we don't take concrete steps for make we consolidate with peace. And make sure say we put the country together. And I make we remember say, despite all the attack there on the peace and democracy, like I don't tell you four consecutive times on a president being in time, we still go bin to money. Usa will go make sure say stakeholders then come together for establish the independent commission for peace and national cohesion. Wait today, now help we for make this dialogue where we all the support and comment make this dialogue happen. Because they join and they initiate the process and join with people and back we come overseas for car airplane. Yes. But you know, only stop there. AKK also say five years under um, this government will not get one foreign direct investment. Again, like I see some say AKK, it forgets quick. Now, under this government, we will come nine presidents bill, engage Suma, where Suma come, then come build a modernized airport. We cost two hundred and seventy million dollars. Eh? Now under this government too, it's a foreign direct investment. Also, Salomonio. Also, just last year, Alai Special Economic Zone. President go launcher. Who said launcher? A launcher inside put local district. So what did they tell you? If you were AKK, they say um, we get the bag your problem from certain parts of the country. When we even get project, where for launch for the country in better one, the president not say okay, allies. We can go na Bo, can go na Kenema, or can go na Kaila. No, we can go inside Port Loco. Now they will go launch them. We tell you, say, we as a government, we believe say development, not forget any politics and development, not for just there, for certain parts of the country. No. Okay, okay. So I think then two areas in there for your show AKKC. Okay, <laughs> All the things that we don't highlight to okay. so, now just out of politics. And I'm really happy there we talk about how we put the country together. So we don't want to go about the politics. Okay, okay. In terms of all the things that we you know, highlight in terms of the changes and structure for maintain peace and all that. But again, things in the way um, people really feel, feel like say, they are still insecure, just stated by um, Witty Mr. Fatoma's social insecurity and other one day. Why with all the things we say they put in place, but yes, still not seem not for the get a right the way how it is expected to be, for let it be something of all rational basis, including everybody, not just few. No, the get a right. Like I say to you, you just, you know, security, government's responsibility. 
Now, for make sure say we protect lives and property and make sure the country is secure. But again, I'll give you an instance. When you get a certain somebody, where for instance, in this case, at the bio, where they overseas, where at every point in time, it incites, it call people and go protest, it make sure say, it do everything possible for make a incite people and for undermine your peace and security. Then they, they're out of government control. Because this person they overseas and with the government at that time no go to get them. So what means say until we understand say for make we get peace and national cohesion for more consolidate to peace. Now the responsibility of, of every Sierra Leonean and every political party, you understand? That now the only way we go make sure say we move this country forward. Clearly, people will get their fears. Because if like I don't highlight to you from 2020. When riots said they start from Tumbo, Makeni, if you play this them, August 10 on Kansai, the uh, um, attempted um, trees in Bakwe be happening last year before this other one come. When you have all those situations where they happen, and you get people um, where they finance, people where they incite all in the day, you expect them naturally people go fear. Now, I make we as a government, we all hold now for our sure people and say, government they in full control of we country in peace, and we encourage. Like what President don't say that in a message for the new year, one and not the tie bundle. We all for come together. We make sure say we call it to peace. This is the responsibility where me get, where AKK get, where SLVP get, where APC get. All for make sure say we now look beyond the politics. Okay. We now make sure say, like what we say for our campaign, salon big pass we all. And this means say we all for focus say let we concentrate for governance, let we make sure say we support government. There are times obviously where we don't expect say everybody go support what government they do. That's why democracy is. Okay. Or for ensure say Usai peace day na all money responsibility. The program you this you they listen to na good morning salon where they come to you from the society for radio democracy ninety-eight point one FM and if you just the join we um, inserted edition of the program, we talk about peace and national cohesion. We get Yusuf Keke Thomas Sandi, Deputy Minister of Information and Civic Education, and also we get Honorable Abdul Karim Kamara, uh, in uh, the Chief Whip for the All People's Congress APC Party in our Parliament, and also Abdul Fatoma, Executive Director, Campaign for Human Rights and Development International. But, uh, inside this program now, I come to Honorable Abdul Karim Kamara, and as I introduce an earlier. As I introduced some earlier, in the chief whip for the All People's Congress Party in the Parliament, we they talk about national peace and also cohesion, and our government hope for maintain the agreement that we don't sign with the opposition. You don't mention some of the opposition concern earlier. We will be ask you now. Look, look at how committed the opposition they for maintain peace and national cohesion with all the agreement them we una don't sign with the government. Um, thank you very much. I think. As an opposition party, um, from 2018 to now, we've done everything possible for the peace reign. Um, after the peace agreement, we've done major points that we will do as a party, we've done. And we also committed not just for the peace reign, but also for the, oh, as I said, you know, we economic a buoyant is tied to our peace with national security tied to with peace but when you get a set of people in government you know i i, I when are they listen to me brother i they find them difficult for able capture outside with it i am not talking politics <laughs> i say they claim i know they talk politics this morning um but when you get a set of people we know they look at the issue and they look out for any oppo every oppo given opportunity for push the blame on the opposition. It, 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 it sounds very, very much interesting. As I said, you know, away from politics, I have been a, a peace expert by studies. And when there is conflict, the first thing they do is when they go look at the underlying factors we responsible for the conflict. Um, I am sure Kekatoma at the time was in the state house and he was briefed around some of the issues that we talked. But he choose for narrate them differently. Let me, let me just learn a big. Like the issue in Tumbo, that has nothing to do with politics. This might be just one local aid man stopping people enough for going to see at the time where Corona, the way they may need for survive, there was an outburst. 
that has nothing to do with politics. The situation na na Lonsa. This was a tension between the, the local parliament chief and the people that we believe say they collect royalties and the people they know the benefits from them. That has nothing to do Honorable, with politics. Honorable, they can't make say they wait for without no, at, if, if, APCB uh, if, if, in if, terms if, of ensuring if, that they maintain peace and not just say and but speak to it. When, when would they ask so they make start certain statements? If we're not correct them, that's not the very reason how they create chaos in our society. I will come to that one day. I have always said the APC is committed to peace. The APC no get no other option because if there is no peaceful situation in the country, I know we're there in the first place. Imagine if there was a coup this uh, November um, 18 when they talk about attempted coup. The APC would have not exist as a political party. So for less somebody even sit on in, in wildest imagination and think say a whole political party really exists because there is democracy, go plot a coup. That imagination day, God knows who side pull up. You get for it the APC party to an extreme. But again, the, the situation of Makini. That was a situation of people who are not better informed about uh, moving a generator, trying to protect what they think was their own, even when a government property. I think if we come to the reality and begin to look at the issues and they isolated me. Um, I remember there was a protest in the uh, in, in, in UN. Mm -hmm. My brother, um, Fatoma, we get the free will for go and come back and say, nobody knows how some. You get people starting to play with the common for go protest against President Koma, and they came back home. There was no harassment. For we, that was democracy because they have them for be given the freedom, the space for able to communicate their so mind. Let, let me, me la, let me laugh. No, we they deal with time, honorable. Please, okay. you don't state some. We can go okay. now to the question where my colleague asks you how much you are committed in maintaining if, peace if, in if terms is, of all if, the agreement and everything. If there, if there is any percentage more than 100, I am telling you, the APC is committed to peace. Okay. We, we, we cannot run a, a situation like this uh, where you, you imagine you go sleep, sleep, na, na net, you gap, na morning. You, you, you ask the question, if I want to talk amongst yourself, sometimes they ask, who's, who's, who is next to be invited? Who is next for waiting? For be invited in CID. Because we are, I don't think it's for be an opposition under um, this current government. It's as scary as building your house under a rock. But at any time, they follow But what about you. the view where people get say, if better precedent we are set years back, the future or current situation would be now, not for be delayed? You, you know, one of the things I don't also say, last say this to you openly, I don't get them in many conversations. See, the civil society and the media, they always create a picture as if it was so. So shall it be. You know, until we able to reach a point where they say, even if it was so, you understand? Even if this is this, you understand? At least we forget how they cut the, the, the line. I don't go to say, um, oh, what's going to be happening? Uh, doing Pakaba in term, what's going to be happening? This, that is... If you are in governance and you you, you there around government or you are supposed to be a civil society where they create the, the, the enlightenment for citizens and for also call, call government to check, then you justify the current happenings in Sierra Leone by the past, it's unfortunate. The only thing we say now is we are not just, you know, um, 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 from after the elections, we believe in many things will happen. First of all, as a political party, yesterday, today, tomorrow, we believe the 2023 elections were were rigged and tiffana we are that nobody know the change we, we, we concept about them. We've gone to the peace accord. We, we want the implementation as a political party. I tell you, see, for being an opposition on the SFP, just like we build the us on that road. Now, now, at any time, it is for one party. Honorable, so, the situation is if anybody want peace for able to coexist as alone. We not the APC, we want an end of the Honorable KK, party. with that kind of mindset or that belief, say this election, now one way the president not win or this current government not win, you think, say, the APC will go into any peace negotiation and all them with to end with free hands we, or we, clear hands? We, we get our mentality today. We went to the peace accord. We, 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 we resume governance. We get our mentality today. We went to the president yesterday. You understand, as an opposition party, the truth is. But people go ask I mean, about the sincerity of some of their engagements, yeah. So and how the APC they go into them. If you get a mindset that this government is, they're not winning this election at all. No, there are certain things that are fact. You can't change them. Like waiting so exactly. Say the 2023 election was rigged. That is a fact. You understand? Not nobody will change that fact. Day. And, and that those, a fact where you get on your own. Me own. Eh? I'm not, thinking, state, I'm, I'm not saying that I write all the reports them we, we, we they fly all over the place. And you know, I, I'm glad the way we, my brother um, um Fatoma they said this, you know, every other election we don't pass, don't get um 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 
um, 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 peace talks, whether from religious council and every other thing. But this one at the first one we do, we, even all we partners are welcome, the report say, we point at the fact say, the election process was not credible. Honorable, just like waiting my colleagues say, to add to that, if the mindset is not positive and prepare for a change, the issue of peace now, one owner will get an ad for say, we really mean and we want them for embrace them. And you don't say so many things the way we kind of bitter and get a mind of not being happy with certain things. Okay. We simply mean say, are you the talker? I'm not also not mean I'm in sincerity. Okay. When you talk about um sincerity, sincerity starts with the fact say you lay the bare premise of waiting don't happen or waiting they happen. If you say waiting happen as statistics, wait and read people them, wait and read the list, you know the women say this is not tribal cleansing. You say for talk now and they mean say I'm not sincere, I'll continue to be insincere. The truth of the matter is Peace, not to throw the sweep under the carpet. You bring out the issues. When you bring out the issues clearly, you understand? Hey, come on, how do you run a, a, a parliament, for example? You sack 137 workmen, now only four now Southeasterners. Then you tell me, see, African talk, say we are comfortable with that. Okay. No, are, the, okay. the issues are clear. Continue for the retweet. Oh, no, 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 Honorable, Abdul, Honorable Abdul Karim Kamara in a APC NP with there and also the whip of the opposition at parliament. As the ready democracy to look at our government plan for maintaining national cohesion and the peace agreement with the don't sign. Over to you, Abdul Fatoma, executive director campaign for human rights and Development International. As you may honorable mention your name on something, you come very closer to the mic. Yeah, since they are not relaxed. Man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because um, the member of parliament clearly get down the totally and cleanly wrong and not fully informed or briefed about that very allegations. We not get any element of fact. Not in a single time throughout my civil society career I ever go to the United Nations for campaign against the government of Sierra Leone. Never. Listen, I don't demonstrate before 10 Downing Street against the government of Sierra Leone, but not in front of United Nations. I have demonstrated against other nations in front of United Nations and within the United Nations worlds, but not against my country. Right? I've traveled wide and demonstrated on several civil society issues on global matters. And when it comes to national matters, I've demonstrated once against my government, the government of Sri Lanka. Okay. So that was not United Nations. So it's good that you no, retract no, that no, no. Uh, because that was not United Nations. And I was not in Sri Lanka by then, by the way. No. I was not in Sri Lanka. I was not resident in Sri Lanka. Now, after that clarification, um, Abdul Fatoma, you there now the studio as the civil society representative inside mm -hmm. this discussion. Will they look at the plenty engagements then between the opposition and also the government? Will they look at how sincere both parties see? going into the negotiations uh, and the agreement uh, for implementation for peace and national cohesion because we don't see plenty but concerns them of national peace and cohesion still continue for threatening the nation uh, let me tell you one thing um we politicians in uh, this country um don't take the people of this country for granted for far too long and majority of the citizens are aware about this and then keep talking it the reason why I make you see uh, many people election will come and go vote it's all now about how secure their tribesmen will be how secure their regional men will be when you actually look at we we electionary thing not how best political party writes the manifesto not how best you know they come with the best policy how them for you know uh, be a better alternative in terms of improving the lives and conditions of citizens in the economy, in housing, in jobs. Campaign after campaign, you look, after, you look into the manifestos of political parties, right? Uh, you see then they say, with a fight for job security, we will, we will improve the youth's life. You go see, say, project that we go come, youth in drainage, youth in farming, youth in fishery, 
you know, youth in car wash. Then I'm gonna tell you, say we get TVET programs then. But then the reality on the life of the young men then they either be, you know, from Putloko, from Bonf, you know, or any other part when at the coastal line, if not youth in fishery. And even the youth in car wash. You get for look at and say the party supporters them because of them be vote for secure the, either the region or the tribes line move to the government and say now we now be the front liners we now empower we and then the one day we get a genuine disagreement with that political party because they're not believing that political party in ideology or because they're not believing that political party in part way you know to their political you know uh, 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 progress then people then they go be marginalized in this country. People where don't go university, with a hope that say, I want to return back and ensure say I work as a professional. Because of people vote on you know um, security of their tribe, security of their region. Even you come on at that same region where not the dominated political party, you go be hated and even pushed away. Because then say either you bring a Westminster style of governance or you bring a Washington style of governance. So the, the level of commitment, you they see say we don't get much sincerity from we politicians. There are things that we go happen clearly in an agreement between themselves, between the political leaders where the public not get a clear understanding of that agreement as how they want to resolve their issues and they but the public get the right to know and one of them fundamental right but the politicians and they come out and share jargons and words the way will continue for put them people there they hope so high or some will come with messages the way go damping the hope of citizens but what in the people of this country want from them politicians? Now, for ensure that they open up to them, work with them, identify a pathway where we go able to build a better Sierra Leone. Okay. When you talk about, uh, I, I mean, Sierra Leoneans are like this country. Sierra Leoneans are peaceful. But the negative vibes among we it don't make we don't become insecure to ourselves to ourselves. So how collectively as a country, because the politicians and our brothers and our sisters, we go to school together, you know, um, we go to university together. We don't grow up in the same community, but then choose a pathway, say, the one for be part of the governance affairs of this country. But it doesn't mean that, say, every citizen for be told that line. But we they get a lot of oppression, suppression from people who choose to be a professional, not state entities, because they're not to a political no. belief or a political ideology of a political party. Now, we look at the, uh, some of the issues them around the meeting with the opposition, perhaps we we'll get uh, with the president in our state house. But I uh, ask you earlier that mm -hmm. we don't get plenty of meetings then. We don't get money tree, we don't get... Uh, the peace uh, signing before the election, and also we don't get the national uh, dialogue between the opposition and the um, government. And instead, we don't, they don't see, we don't see the opposition meet with the president. Mm -hmm. In all the negotiations, uh, in all the engagements, uh, how truthful the two parties, them with the engage in the agreements, yeah, them peace agreements, yeah, so they from the civil society standpoint? Well, what, what in the people of this country want is just a commitment um, from the two uh, uh, leading political party. You know, how sincere are they? We, not the public, not go able for judge much. But how committed are they? We go able for make measure of that. The commitment like how, for example, the government in your role for ensure say, then support the committee and give them every necessary support where the committee need for do their work without interrupt, without any possible interruption. We want to see that commitment there as a people, and we want to see the commitment from the opposition 
you know, ensuring that say, you know, then comply with a part of their own, you know, uh, uh, um, responsibility, part of the agreement. So then commitment and then and then the, the people of Sierra Leone one. I can sit down before you smile to you, but you cannot judge me sincerity. But the fact that I say you invite me and you also I come, I make a commitment for left me own resident for come to you. So um, that now within the people of this country want. Like you say, after the 2018 election, we will get a peace committee way uh, then be set, a cross-party peace committee again. Then go into that committee, come up with a report. The people of this country know able to set their own the recommendations or neither the findings. Uh, you know, uh, and the, the member of parliament talk about the statistics workers. And he also talk about civil society and the media. They always talk about the past. But then, history is one good thing. I don't dwell on the past to justify the wrong of today. I always condemn any wrong of yesterday and the wrong of today. Okay. When 2018, I mean 2017, I'll be arrested at this studio uh, with allegation of treason. My passport comes to for 45 days. Sleep in CID for one night. And then I come out, up to now, no charge against me. But when they sack statistics workers, we organization, now in champion, the right of them people, then they, even when government say they're not going to pay them, we ensure that, say, them 400 and something Sierra Leoneans, eh, regardless of the tribe, the region, because they are Sierra Union and civil society, they for fight for the right of people. We also do that for 99 workers, the fire force. We also do that for 30 something workers, the NACRA. We also do that for, for NATCOM workers. We, we, when the parliament issue come, Liberty TV, Bla TV, these the institutions that we work with we for ensure that say, we organization amplify the wrongdoing of things. We do on the record. So when people can actually generalize, you know, that all civil society are like that, I mean, it's good for them, but then it's also bad for conscience. So basically, what in the people of Sierra Leone deserve from the politicians that for respect the right of citizens and also help citizens uh, how we will develop a pathway for national development. So every Sierra Leone go free belong. We don't want a system where politicians and political parties then will create, but let citizens and feel more discontent. Okay. You know. Yeah. Continue for the with we have the Fatima Nai name, executive director campaign for human rights and development international as today inside this edition of the program Good Morning Um Salon. We they look at our government plan for maintain the um national cohesion and keep the peace agreement where they don't sign with your position. The program Good Morning Salon um they continue. And uh, inside the studio we get we still get Yusuf Keke Thomas Sandy, Deputy Minister for Information and Civic Education and also Honorable Abdul Kari Karim Kamara, um, Chief Whip for the All People's Congress APC Party in Parliament, Abdul Fatoma, Chief Executive Executive Director, Campaign for Human Rights and Development International. Today we talk about national peace and cohesion. And earlier we don't talk about uh, the peace and national cohesion. Keke Thomas and before we look at messages quickly, um, you can take me through the meeting where the opposition get with uh, President yesterday in the Parliament with some of the key highlights of the discussion. Well, I think, um, like I say, I hope um, AKK, my good friend, you know, will be concentrate this program for talk about peace and within uh, um, political parties, the responsibility, uh, within a citizen's by responsibility. Um, we know, say, obviously, after the New Year message, President B talks, say, um, one hand the Thai bundle, we mean, say, unity in our strength, and all man for coming together. And it puts this into action by making sure, say, it engage various stakeholders there. So, in fact, I'm very happy that um, AKK and then the leader self now, parliament, and young people now, then self, I'm happy that the APC self don't follow our president in your legacy now. We don't set, say, it will get young people and governance, you know, because before now, you be also get um, APC leadership there, we now people away, not, to, not all, but they are not young. 
So I'm happy. Uh, my yesterday meeting was very, very important and good as well because it gave the opportunity for me, um, the, the team, we are not saying AKK CBDD, for me, then go engage president on several issues. And part of the issues then they know that um, how they obviously go support governance and how they go make sure say then safe, then condemn, which is happy on the 26th of November. Where I think say, initially I start by saying, wait till happy on the 26th of November, not to anything way for indict any political party. There have been individuals who are members of the APC. We no necessarily mean say these were people who were acting on behalf of the APC party. So I think if I'm made that clarity today. So um, it was very refreshing. And also in the meeting, President also commit himself for make um, we ensure say we continue to get dialogue because dialogue are the only thing we're very important in this country. Um, we see say after the elections, an uh, interesting way, even my brother AKK say um, the elections in June, na big the elections. But you know, but you know, um, again, like I say, um, without talking politics, we know say the procedure and the system are that if you get evidence, say the election, they're going to court. Okay, okay, but okay. if you're not going to court, that means the evidence is not there. But also, the important thing are that that dialogue way we don't start last year, that message we pressed the Nongi. Say this is not time for me the country come together, time for peace, time for unity, and may everybody play in part. Now I pray that they continue. And the meeting yesterday, obviously, um, like AKK um, the leader na, in Twitter and was very productive, where they engaged president on several governance issues. But the heart of that thing, now the fact for sure, say, will they continue for dialogue with the opposition? <laughs> because there's a second goal for playing a parliament. Okay, I mean, the budget, <laughs> they don't go discuss the budget, they can't go bills, they day. So the APC gets a role for play. But they now forget a responsibility for make sure they then self up and contribute for more consolidate to peace. Okay, okay, okay. Um, continue, but over to you, AKK, quickly on the meeting yesterday. We'll see you with a smile and all glowing up. And at well, the starting point of say, on oh, say really want peace and acceptance. I, I don't know which picture you watch where the smile You're not smiling, Stay at all. I don't know which one for the picture they will watch. If you want to be vexed. No, I don't mean not supposed to get a vexed countenance. But let's go to, you know, when you say at the start of the peace uh, process, I, I, I don't make them clear, say, the APC don't bend backwards for let we get peace. Because I continue to say, we are like ships waiting to be slaughtered. At no, no, look day. at the way forward. Nah, they not say, Pointing, if, blame if, fingers I don't, and I don't, I don't like for or blame making people. silent things where they mean like we know they try for even go forward. No, we they, we they go forward. You know they you know they go before if you know do your hand. If we the worker go before your hand, they go behind it, they can't before they swing them. So in that situation we find ourselves where anybody can be arrested. I want to be friend with people we No talk about yesterday meeting with nah, they can't HA, so. nah, they can't so. they can't they no it's up to you. I am um, we, we got a fruitful discussion yesterday with the president around issues of um, national cohesion. And we also talk about pending issues them we, as he rightfully say, we are not enemies to the state. We are just people with different opinions on our governance for work. And yesterday we meet with the president. I don't think, say, at any point in time, as an opposition, I don't read many things on social media from yesterday to today, but also who we'll go there yesterday, like other people don't they visit president in, in a quiet tune, no preachers. We were given the option, no, 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 let's stop. I said, let's stop. We. Because we will go for good discourse now a nation. Because until the nation exists and until there is peace, until there is somebody who's willing to sacrifice for let we build a nation. You know, we can get this say, now young people and in the APC now. Well, I don't think any president don't get more young people na 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 cabinet force. Before you you begin candy, the buy my and be done the the washing guy and be done the so they were young people before you. And at this level That's we with it so we don't get a weep when I be a young person also we na uh, the the uh, club commander at the time. So it's it's not novelty to the APC. So which what they say is we are building a pathway for Sierra Leone in which gonna those days where they say the youth are the future leaders. We are the leaders already no. will determine tomorrow. So for no. me, we, we had a very fruitful engagement no. with the president. That's what I can say. What did I take home from that meeting? I mean, the opposition in take home from the meeting quickly before can the text messages them. There were assurance of um, 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 calming down the, the political attention from um, the president. It makes sense of commitment to we um, willing to work with the opposition. I don't think, say, at any given time, 
we don't get that kind of assurance that we don't get now than before now. Okay. So that assurance is is for we. We hope say we go put um, 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 everything together for let we get a progressive nation. Honorable Abdul Karim Kamal, continue for the tweet. Okay, because of time, when they come over to the studio, get them for respond, and then they bring in the Deputy Minister of Information and Civic Education, Yusuf Keke Thomas Andy. Well, I think um, <coughs> I share the sentiment with Texas and say, um, like, if I make a cap this morning for Canada, Africa, talk about peace, um, national cohesion and unity. You unfortunately say, my own brother, we can't have one big politics. Um, but again, I encourage him back as well. Um, AKK is a young man, and I know say he gets a bright future in the APC. For me, we see how we can left the politics first. No focus by governance. APC gets a goal for playing the parliament and get a goal for playing the councils. And let's see how we go make sure this dialogue don't start. We President Seth don't take to the um, APC and the leadership in the parliament. Let us law continue. Because at the end of the day, we will be go na um, bin to money, we'll be get eight resolutions then. We na resolutions that we we all be agree on. Most of the resolutions they we don't try for make sure say we don't um, um, fulfill them. Um, the important one we talk about the, the committee for look at all the electoral um, things that we did as well. Then said don't they meet the uh, uh, um, the co leadership of the UN resident coordinator, the government, and also the APC as well. Then got they meet as well for develop certain things for me they work. And I think say so far so good. There is hope. And I assure people that they really listen to me say we as government to committed and. I know say APCF committed and law make sure say law use opportunity now for say okay when election not done law focus on governance law consolidate peace and look at national okay. Okay. if they talk about road show or music or peace or something when will I really want for do that and also I also wanna get for target. Okay, um, this is not the, like I say, um, as a ministry, uh, we said they do um, civic engagement on how we go make sure say we consolidate to peace. Um, these are various plans that we'll get for make we do for expand, we campaign with a um, Salon Big Pass We All campaign. All they do for make sure say we promote peace and national cohesion. We'll get for do billboards. So you can begin to see billboards them around. We'll get community engagement. We'll show them. Once we finalize on all the plans, I think say we go use the platforms them for engage people eh, and tell people them eh, how I forgot about it. But remember, say at the heart of that campaign, now the people them eh, because we make we all show say salon big pass. Okay, please thank you to you, Yusuf Keke Thomas Sandy, Deputy Minister of Information and Civic Education. Over to you, Honorable Abdul Karim Kamai. You get some of the messages we come you can respond. It, um, Sincerely, the people of Sierra Leone are tired. If there is anything we can provide for them, if we're able to meet their basic needs, we need to give them peace. Peace not to think the way we they talk, not the way they do. As they say, we are committed to peace as a political party. But as I, as I started, I tell you, see, if we they engage the president on the way forward for a peaceful nation, with deputy sec um, public sector, with youth leader, they don't invite them back to the CID. You know, not to tell peace, not to tell they talk, not to they act. You understand? If you say, as an institution, you all we work together, you ever create the structural environment where we they work on. But we cannot be going and coming. We cannot be going and coming. The APC party, not to wield it in leadership, get the party. The party is a party of grassroots people. Wielding a leadership, they get pressure every day. What we've seen so good before for work with Tuna, at the same time, with people at the CC. The, the party is under serious attack. You don't invite a secretary general of a party for a press release to CID. And the uh, message they respond to, so yes, very very actively. So you you cannot say we need to work together as a, <laughs> uh, as um, 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 two opposing sides when we the the administration of the pot and the fire. Okay, so waiting will be last month to say una from the grassroots to the higher level, we're not going to say we not comply, be law-abiding, and maintain peace to the fullest. I think we've always been law-abiding. If there is anything we feel like a, we against the law, now we don't suffer under the law in hand. And I, I remember me, 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 boss, they always they say, the, the former we say the law is not what is written in Sierra Leone, the law is what government says okay. in Sierra Leone. Because okay. of time, plenty thank you, Honorable Abdul we, Karim Kamara. I'm whip of the opposition at Parliament. We see over to you, Abdul Fatoma, please. Abdul you get some of the message, then we can Musa, we not get enough time. We please. not get enough time. Quick one, Abdul Fatoma. This one from Alfred Amara Sewa. You answer to this, perhaps say, I smell fake peace. Uh, why, why you think, say, you oh, depose you, unto no, me I as obligatory uh, no, for... No, the person you say is smelling okay. fake peace as civil society. Right. Way. We don't no, get that but... video on this. We don't they ask you on the sincerity okay. of them dialogue there. So make a post them to you okay. as civil society. What do you think, say, we, the parties, the two parties involved need for, for do now for everlasting peace in our salon? 
Hence, I post them to you. No country, not in the world, will get everlasting peace. If you know for that day, America not they spend more on the military than any other thing, or England, yeah? So if Alfred not been there earlier, I talk say Sierra Leone, we get relative peace, then we get social insecurity based on activities the way they take place at the country. And as a country, we don't dwell ourselves into dialogue throughout. As a country and citizen, we don't endure a lot of suffering in the hands of politicians. From the time we gain independence, we go through a civil war, you know, and up to date. We, we, most of the challenges and stumbling block towards moving forward comes from the activities of politicians in this country. So the people of Sierra Leone, the only thing they need is to ensure that the politicians then be committed towards development and the progress of this country. Okay, plenty thank you to you, Abdul Fatoma, Executive Director, Campaign for Human Rights and Development International. Also, we get the Deputy Minister of Information and Civic Education, Yusuf Keke Thomas Sandi, between at the studio. <coughs> Excuse me. We also get the whip of the opposition at Parliament, Honorable Abdul Karim Kamara. Three gentlemen, they will tweet today. We come make their input inside this edition of the program. Good morning, Salon, on the topic our government plan for maintain national cohesion and I mean keep the peace agreement where they don't sign with the opposition. Thanks to our three wanna be with guests inside this edition of the program. Good morning, Salon. Thank you. When this edition of the program go left here for today, plenty thank you to we production team and also the technical team we make una see we live na Facebook and DJ Cliff we make una see we I wanna get we live. So today then Musa Kamadi say have a wonderful day. Bye bye. And me na subtitle on the say stay tuned to this frequency and goodbye.